subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. We're back again with another video and this time we're bringing back the old boys, the iPhone 5S for an interesting reason. iOS 12 is supported on this older phone and it's just showcasing where Android needs to improve. You know, older phones like the 5S getting this version is just pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and see if it got any faster so far though. Three, two, one on the boot up and we're gonna see which one is quicker. Now these are 5S as you can see, no SE logo, no SE logo down there. And this does take a while to boot up on the 5S, so we're gonna give us a second. If it takes too long, I will speed through it. But the 5S is 2013 smartphone. It has one gigabytes of RAM. It has an Apple A7 CPU. And if you like go back to a 2013 phone on the Android side, I don't know how well that phone would perform at this moment, but if you would like to see that, go ahead and comment your thoughts down below. Maybe we'll consider doing an old 2013 Android phone to see how that thing performs here. But you can see, it looks like the iPhone 5S is about to boot up here, but still dragging. But you see what, see what I'm saying? It just takes forever to boot up here. I'm gonna skip the video if it doesn't boot up in a second, and we'll come back when they are done. Okay, the iPhone 5S is done right after you've seen on iOS 12 and then iOS 11. So the first win goes to iOS 12, but both very slow to boot up here. Okay guys, so we are now in the phones. Let's go ahead and see which one responds first on the lock screen and you can see about the same there. So no differences so far in beta one. Let's go ahead and hit the fingerprint and you can see that was a little faster on 12. Let's do it again, three, two, one and i gotta try again over there on the 5s on the left one more time three two one and you could see it looks to be slightly faster there on 12. well there goes 11 so i guess not really so not a big deal here on the fingerprint we're not seeing any differences when it comes to just that animation going into the device and i feel like that's something they could improve with the 5s is even though it doesn't have second gen touch ID, you can make that animation a little bit faster so it seems like it's faster going in, but so far, no differences there. I do want to test that camera on the lock screen because the camera is one of the things that they touted to open much quicker. So let's go ahead and see how 11 does versus 12, 3, 2, 1. And you can see that was definitely much faster on 12. Let's do that one more time, 3, 2, and 1. You could see again, faster on 12. So the camera definitely is quicker, at least on the lock screen anyway, for iOS 12, having fingerprint issues there on the left. So quickly confirming those softwares, 11.4 on the left and 12 on the right, just so you know I'm not cheating here in this test. Okay guys, so we have arrived at the application portion of this speed test, but before we do that, I wanna showcase to you that the iPhone 5S is still slow when it comes to these toggles in the control center. You see, it's just delayed, just like it was before on iOS 11. So that's still slow there. When you go over into this widgets tray, sometimes it does glitch a little bit here, but overall it still scrolls very smoothly on the home screens at least. But let's get into the application speed test here now to see which applications are faster on which phone. And if that increase they've been talking about at the WWDC, if it actually is showcasing yet, at least on beta one. Let's go into the calendar and you can see it looks slightly to 12. What about the clock? That's definitely a little bit to 12. The calculator, that looks slightly to 12 again. Settings, you can see definitely on the right. What about Instagram? Instagram taking a little bit of time here. You could see that that's gonna be a win for it looks slightly to iOS 12, but not hugely different. So, I mean, we're expecting huge differences here, aren't we, with the 40% claims. Maybe we'll see it later on in the later betas, but I'm not seeing it so far here for iOS 12 beta one. And you could see pretty slow here on Twitter. This is one of the slower iOS apps, but it's one that's very popular nonetheless. Snapchat. You could see Snapchat opens first on the right. Let's go into WhatsApp. And WhatsApp is first, look like on the left. Let's go into YouTube. YouTube opens first on the right and then the left, like by a long shot. Let's go into Netflix. And you can see Netflix does open first on iOS 12, it seems like. so. 
iOS 12 looking pretty speedy in comparison to 11. Like it looks a little bit faster, but not like considerably faster like what we were expecting to see with iOS 12. But I'm not gonna say that the iPhone 5S is gonna remain slow because we have many more betas that are gonna come and we might not see those speed updates until the later betas. So this doesn't mean that it won't be quicker, but if you're thinking about downloading this beta early on and you think your 5S is gonna get much faster, it's not at this point right now. So we see Jetpack Joyride open first on the right over the left, coming home. Let's go into the next game, Slither. This is a pretty basic game that shouldn't take too long to load on both. And we see a load here first on iOS 12. So nice stuff, but at least it's not slower. Let's put it that way. At least it's not like slower than the one you were just on. So if you go to it, you can try it out. It doesn't really bring that many new features though. It's more of just a speed update and we're not seeing that right now. You got the screen time feature, you got a couple applications that have been updated, but it's not a huge update, visually speaking. It's gonna take you some time to see some of the new features, but I'm not seeing like massive changes in your day-to-day -day use with an iOS 12 software update. Let's go into speed test, but still, both of these phones are like, like going at a snail's pace compared to a lot of the newer devices. So I still think that the iPhone 5S is not a good buy at this point, but let's go into Safari. And that one actually opened first on the left and then on the right. Let's go into camera. You could see that. Wow, that was very close. I couldn't even see the differences. So there you go. That's basically the single round of application. Okay, so let's quickly run through the applications to see if anything does reload. And you could see the camera has the reload right away. What about Safari, speedtest.net? Let's go into Geekbench. And you can see both had that held. Let's go into video shop. Both had that held just fine. Slither, reload here on iOS 12 on the right. And we're still waiting. So iOS 12 had a reload there. What about Jetpack Joyride? And man, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's just like the animation time, it just makes these phones feel very sluggish right now in 2018 on both 11 and 12. So. As of this point right now, it's not looking very good for the 5S, even though it will support the latest software. I mean, what's the point in supporting the latest software if it doesn't run it that well? And if you've been paying attention, the battery life has been draining rather fast on both of these devices, like extremely quickly. And these both are not like super used batteries. They both have a good capacity left. And they had to reload Netflix. What about YouTube? Another reload. This one gig of RAM just can't keep up. You can see another reload. I'm not even going to wait for them if they're doing reloads again. So one gig of RAM, everything after you get past like a few apps just needs a reload. You can see the one gig of RAM is just torturing the 5S. So not very good RAM management on either 11 or iOS 12 here for the 5S. Pretty disappointing to be quite honest with you. Okay, so Apple is touting that the camera is gonna be so much faster for the 5S. Let's go ahead and see if it's any quicker here, at least in beta one. Like I say, this is not conclusive because we're in an early beta. So don't take this as I'm saying the 5S is, you know, not gonna be quicker because later on they might show up with beta seven, beta eight or whatever, introduce those speed enhancements and then we blow away iOS 11. But let's check it out right here. Three, two, one. And you can see the camera time, not too much different. Let's do it again. Three, two, and let's do it one more time. I lost that page. Three, two, one. You can see not really a difference here. So beta one, there you go. There's the speed test differences between these two. Now I'm not gonna run Geekbench right now because in betas, I don't really trust the Geekbench too much. I did it on the SE. Someone pointed out that, you know, they're not really too accurate. So I'm gonna not do the Geekbench here for these two. But at the same time, the iOS 11 is about the same speed as iOS 12 beta one. So if you're thinking about updating, you're not gonna really change performance too much. Battery life is not draining at a, a, a much faster rate on 12. So if you wanna try it, you can go ahead and try it for the new features. But if you were looking for those performance updates, they're not here just yet for the 5S. So that's it, iOS 11 versus iOS 12 speed test. Basically we can conclude here that the speed enhancements 
are not really apparent just yet for the 5s they might come in later beta so i'm not gonna say this is a conclusive speed test but what this can help you do is decide if you want to run the beta on your iphone 5s and seeing as though the speed is about the same and not really different at all might as well battery life actually didn't drain that much different from 11 either now there's a few bugs in ios 12 where the phone will crash sometimes on certain applications so that might be the deal breaker for you trying this out but if you just want to have a stable software i would stay on 11. Uh, it's kind of disappointing to see how sluggish the iphone 5s has become and i really hope that those speed enhancements come in a later beta but what are your thoughts do you have a 5s or are my iphone 5s is slower than yours let me know down below and if and you found uh, this video helpful enjoyable entertaining informing do me a favor click that like button for me and if you're new here be sure to be subscribed